Coveting Culture and Market, a short study of Indian wooden furniture industry. Introduction. Wooden furniture has been dominating the sector and is preferred worldwide. Indian furniture internationally is synonymous with wooden furniture. The trend might be old, but it is an innate core strength to Indian wooden furniture industry. As per the global market insight, wood dominates the global furniture market with 60% share and continues to dominate and is also expected to surpass US dollar 750 billion by 2024. The leading wooden furniture manufacturing country is China, but Italy leads the market. And the reason for the Italy to lead market is its authentic design, but also its evolving design in the modern society. Why wood is one of the most preferred material for furniture industry? Wood is of course a sustainable ecological material as it is renewable and can also stock and lock carbon. But its preference actually lies in the richness, warmth, texture, tone and finesse. It can fit anywhere from indoors to outdoors and also from modern to rustic style. It is also a sensory rich emotive material. Wood creates a memory. Having a wooden article at home from a childhood that can be passed on to the next generation. People can associate with it very easily since it's a biophilic material and they tend to grow with it. Wooden furniture has been preferred from historical to modern time because of its elegance, durability, flexibility, utility, and its functional and structural aspect. It also continues to grow in demand owing to its innate stability and reliability. Solid words and engineered words. 60% of global furniture market is dominated by wood and wood-based materials according to Woodwork Networking 2019 report. 65% of Indian furniture industry is dominated by wood and out of that, teak accounts for 50%, whereas sal and deodar accounts for 20% as per IBF report of 2017. Generally, hardwood furniture is preferred over the softwood because they have superior manufacturing characteristic and strength and also it has a rich tone, appearance and aroma. Solid wood is primary form used. Solid wood is used in its primary form but nowadays veneers, plywood, composite panels, high density engineered wood products are also picking up the pace in the market. Some of the most commonly used wood in Indian furniture are Tectora grandis, Melia azidrek, Shoria robusta, Talbargia latifolia, Talbargia sisu, Cedrus deodara, Suitenia macrophylla, Acacia arabic, Manchpara indica, Chlorozylum suitenia. Let us have a look at style and design of Indian wooden furniture. Design is a reflection of an idea, personality, tradition that has been improvised over time. It unites function, fantasy, tradition, as well as sustainability. And despite a diverse culture and numerous wooden buildings and frames, furniture was not a part of Indian culture except in the kingdom of Vijayanagar. Furniture became a part of Indian culture after the Mughal invasion, but mostly was deeply influenced by the invasion of the Portuguese and the French. Until then, people mostly practiced sleeping on floor and having meals seated on floor, but the household usually had bolsters and cushions for seating. 
Indian furniture was then greatly influenced by European, English and Islamic style. They saw the wood availability and the wood artifacts that were used in India and carved furniture out of it and the bolster and the cushions were inspired for the upholstery of the furniture. Indo-Islamic style. India, Indo-Islamic style was mostly known for its intricate carving and it also had was an influence to a Portuguese style of design. Indo-Islamic style mostly used the hardwood with darker wood tones. Indo-Portuguese style. The Portuguese style of furniture in India that are commonly found are the chests and the draw tables and the screens. The Indo-Portuguese style of furniture uses dark colored hardwood and intricate designs. These are some of the examples of Indo-Portuguese style. The first one we see are the chested drawers that are used instead of the cupboards and can still be found in Goa and Daman region of India. Second are the chair that are made from dark colored hardwood. Second, the last we see is the sofa set. Now, what we see here is that dark hardwood colored frame has been prepared, but the seating has the jolly design in it, which then gets upholstered or cushions are placed for the seating. This is the indo style. indo style also uses dark hardwood and mostly they use the frame and the seating area again is occupied by the cane, weave or the jolly style. And the jolly style material can either be plastic or from the canes and the bamboos. This is Kashmiri wooden furniture. In Kashmir, the wood carving is one of the most influential design that is seen. It, they mostly use walnut since it's the only region of India where walnut is available. We see the intricate designs and the lotus and the flower motifs on the furniture. This is the jolly designs. Jolly designs are mostly found in the Rajasthan area of India where wood that are malleable are used and thin mesh-like styles and designs are carved out from the hardwood or even the softwood. Jodhpur style of furniture or Shakavati style of furniture. Jodhpur style mostly uses heavy wood frames for the furniture. Also, they are the region where ancient tribal to uh, ancient India design form is used. They do not have any so influence of Western or Islamic style into them. Mostly the folklore and the tribal forms of designs are used into it as we see on the headrest. Sankhira furniture of Gujarat is beautiful example of lacquerware and inlay. Here, the wood like teak is used for the making of the furniture in which metal wire are inlaid or they are colored bright fully with lacquer. They either use bright colors like yellow and maroon or gold on black. Modern Sankhira Furniture There is a need for the designs to evolve and Sankhira Furniture has evolved beautifully, especially with the contribution of the training center set up for it in Ahmedabad. We see the Sankhira Furniture that is being upholstered and most suited to the modern society and aesthetics. Chetinard Furniture Chetinard 
has one of the most unique design of architecture and art form in the furniture industry as well. They are known for their simplicity, yet class and elegance. Chetinad furniture uses hardwood like satinwood, teak or even ebony and they would make simple designs of the furniture but they mostly have a intricate carving along the side of the armrests. English style of furniture Charpai as it's mostly called Charpoi in the British era of India. So the British use the Divan or the Charpoi most commonly since they are very accommodating in any circumstances and Indians picked up the style and used till date and is commonly called Charpai. The factors that are responsible from growth of demand to growth of demand of wooden furniture. First there is the real estate, tourism, increased urbanization and commercialization and better standard of living. With the increased urbanization and commercialization, there has been an increased globalization, which has led to the overall better standard of living and more people living, uh, having better wages than they had before. And also there is a boom in the real estate and the tourism industry, which has created a demand for the wooden furniture as it appeals to the aesthetics of the people. Let us have a market overview, overview of the Indian wooden furniture. As we see, most of the wooden furniture in India is occupied by the housing sector. Second comes the office, third is the hotels and cafes, and fourth, industries. The industries mostly use the WPC furniture and housing. Wooden furniture is used since wooden, uh, wood is durable and reliable, and its stability gives a guarantee that it will be staying for a long time, even after it wears out, and it gives a complete look to the interior of a house. In housing, the wooden uh, furniture that is mostly being used are the bedroom furniture. Second place comes to the living room, third to the dining and fourth in the kitchen. In the kitchen mostly again WPC are used and the modular furniture promotes steel now, in the dining room, uh, the dining uh, tables, they are made from hardwood and in the living room, again, we find artifacts and furniture made of softwood and hardwood. Most essentially, the hardwood furniture occupies the bedroom. This is the global outlook of manufacturing of wooden furnitures. The first place is occupied by China, covering 39%. China manufactures maximum amount of wooden furniture because of the avail uh, cheaper availability of raw materials and labor. And also China has set up domes near the manufacturing units that employs more people and there is a growth towards the sector employment. Also. China has set up manufacturing hubs near the export units, which minimizes the operational cost and the logistic cost. Second is in USA, which is about 12%, and India has only about 4% of wooden manufacturing percentage. These are the country-wise imports in 2019, according to the figure report of 2020. USA imports 34% of wooden furniture and China exports 39% of wooden furniture. India exports as less as 1%.
in Asia, the leading export country for the world would be China and Vietnam. India needs to tap this market and be a leading export. And India is capable of that because of its geography. We can have most of the sea route in, uh, exports and cheap labor and availability of raw material. Drawbacks of Indian wooden furniture industry. First is the logistic and the route planning. Most of the wooden sectors, uh, wooden in, uh, furniture industries are unorganized and scattered to the remote places. There has to be a logistic operations and route planning that clusters them and takes the artifacts from the source to the export unit. There is a high rate of raw material. The raw materials can be of poor quality and sometimes they are insufficient in quantity, which increases the rate of raw material. There has to be some subsidized rate for the artisans on the raw material. There's a lack of utilization of available resources. The resources might be available, but because of the lack of the knowledge, the utilization is not made. Government policies and schemes. Despite saying that uh, India should become one of the leading exports, the government policies and schemes sometimes becomes a hindrance in the way of it. Ethnic market. There is a need to tap the ethnic market, rebrand it and resource it in the international market. Also, there is a lack for refurbished market. Since wood does not get shattered, it just that lasts for a very long time. It can be sold and it can fetch a good amount. And also this uh, furniture can be refurbished and resold at a lower prices, which will increase the demand for the wooden furniture, even amongst the lower middle class people. Leaders in e-commerce wooden furniture industry in India Pepper Fry, Pep Furbish, Wooden Shala, Kodraj Interior, Durian, and Neil Kamal. Opportunities and strategies that wooden furniture industry of India can uptake. First would be to focus on traditional design with modern blend. There has to be an evolution of research design and engineering reforms. There are and it needs to be fitted to the modern taste and aesthetics while keeping the cultural touch of it. Competitive raw material prices. Uh, the raw material should be subsidized and credit availability to the artisans should be made. In countries like Germany or Vietnam, where the government subsid uh, credits almost 50 to 70 percentage of capital investment, uh, India sees only about 18%, which is very less. There has to be a focus on export in ethnic niche. Just so that when we are talking about the modern blend of the furniture, its ethnicity should not be lost in it. The logistic operations and route should be planned that minimizes the operational cost but also allows the village economies to flourish. Setup of training institute and promotion of government design institutes. We have institutes like IFT or NIFT, but that is not enough. There has to be more training institutes that needs to be promoted and uh, designs have to evolve. Along with the design, we also have to look for the treatment and the processing of this word and there has to be some engineering reforms and the product design development as well. Clustering of local artisans and promoting village economies. Instead of bringing the private sector or privatizing the sector, we should allow the artisans to cluster, develop an organization with some intermediators. That would help in creating an organizational effort and promoting village economies as it was directed by Mahatma Gandhi. 
Here, uh, there are a few examples of modern plan with traditional design. These are the examples of Indo-Dutch furniture and the Rajasthan Jodhpur furniture that uses heavy wood. They have been created with the modern blend and mini uh, it uses lightweight designs. These are the Ottoman in different forms that uses Ottoman phrase, a full body Ottoman in different wood colors. These are the references. The pictures were taken from the Architectural Digest of 2016. Chetinad Furniture blog uh, has been accessed on December 28. Figure report was seen that was prepared by the Boston Consultancy Group. We see Biophilia by Edward O. Wilson. Thank you.